Welcome to today's video. This week, we're going to take on Richmond and Talladega in today's video, and a little bit later today, we're taking on Kansas and Charlotte. So let's head to Richmond right now. All and right, get here we get wet. Green flag, go, 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 go. Inside, still Continuing our quest for the championship here in season number three, of course, as you guys know, you're still line. racing the 2017 schedule in this season. Stay and season 4 will be the first Roll one with the 2018 wheel. update in it, which will begin towards the end of May, I believe. Steady. May? Now. Whoa. Outside. March. March. This is when it should be starting. Hold steady wheel. I already got the schedule planned Here. out, how everything's gonna go. And I'm looking forward to the new series. Things should be very, very cool with the new cars, the new schedule layout, I guess. The new order of the schedule, which we got to try to run. But the thing that's going to be important for everybody to remember is that we're only running the Still there, he's outside. Cup Series from Season 4 on. So, probably 4 through maybe Old 8 seasons wheel. I could Clear. see doing. Outside. It really Clear. depends on how many seasons we can get until probably next September. Or this upcoming September. When I'm sure there'll be a NASCAR Heat Excellent. 3. So that's what it's really going to come down to. Is how many can we get done in that time. And again, I'm looking forward to seeing how things go in the new season. But right now we have a lot of time left in this season. And then episode number five or seven? What one is this? Part of me feels like it's five. Part of me feels like it's seven. Not sure which one it is. Alright, here we go. 22 laps of Richmond left to go. Steady. No! It's going way back, aren't I? Yep. That's when you take new tires, guys. Ready. Steady. Race is going green. Green flag. Go, 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 go. Inside, good drive off here. Clear high, get up there. Feels bad, man. Still there, he's outside. It's okay, though. We have 18 laps to drive Hold back the through this field. Easy, easy. All clear. So here we go, we are in 13th. Easy, easy. Oh yellow, my yellow, yellow, yellow. god, big, big wreck here. It's okay though, it's okay. Check your belts, we're going to the green. Race is going green. Inside, he's on your bumper. Green flag, go, 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 go. Clear high. Still there, he's outside. Clear quick. Yo, can Still you there, he's outside. Clear high. Appreciate, man. Outside, real tight. All clear, all clear. Alright, so you guys know we'll be racing clear. as William Byron in the outside, season hold your line. number four. All clear. So we'll have raced two driver. four seasons, two Chevys, and two Fords. We race with Dell Jr. in season number one. Season two is Kevin Harvick. Season three here, of course, is Brad Keselowski. In season four, racing is Brian Byron. Which I'm pretty excited about. We have the new Camaros and peep what's up with that. Clear quick. 
It's uh, good. I don't think the schedule changes that much until the playoffs, but there is a little bit of change to what tracks oh, and all that stuff. So we're not going to restart with the winless tracks. The 2018 update is not happening. It's still the same game. We didn't do it when the 2017 update came out to Masquerade Evolution. Well, we didn't really keep track of the winless tracks until later in the series, but still. You get the point. So the only thing we're adding is the Charlotte Road Course. Now, technically, it's not new. It's still Charlotte. Go. Keep it up. That's what the track's called. It's called Charlotte. Low, low. But uh, we are going to consider it a different track just because it's a road course. And I want to have, like, you oh, know, it's Charlotte right. Road Course. It's I not Charlotte Oval. Outside so, we'll see. Plus, if the game considers it two different tracks. I'm not sure if it does, but we'll see if the game. Clear high, quick. See if there's tries, and I think it's cool that there's a NASCAR track that actually has two different layouts when the drivers visit it. Instead of just being like, "Hey, you're going to Charlotte twice. You're going to Charlotte once, and you're going to Charlotte Road Course once. Same track, same location, different layout, which is really cool. I'm super excited for that race. It's one of my most excited four races this season." And I'm excited to race it in the 2018 update. Now, of course, when this video goes up, the 2018 update's coming oh, yeah. out, but according a little bit ahead, ah, uh, there's not oh, out yet. But. That's why in the beginning, I'm like, hey, we're racing the 2017 update still. Or 2017 update? 2017. But. Four laps to go here. Average, we're trying to grab win number four, win number five on the season. I don't know if we're gonna run stages either. For season four, I haven't made that decision yet. I feel like we won't just because I have to record three videos of this instead of two, which we limited to two races, uh, two videos was a lot. So probably with three, we will definitely not be doing stages. Two laps left. Just two to go, we finally got the lead. We're finally like trying to pull away a little bit with something here. See what we got. Uh, maybe we can finally win this race. We're not finally win this race, but you know, we can get a win here. Lose only one winless track for us, and that is Kansas. We can go win Kansas this season. Make it pretty easy on ourselves next season. I want to win a road course. <sighs> I haven't raced the track yet, but you get the point. It's a road course, and I'm a lord of road courses. Way to dig, guys. That's a win. I rarely ever lose road courses. But now, we go to, all right, you guys know how it works here at Talladega and also at Daytona. We're not going to qualify, we're just going to race our way through the field. Easy, easy. You can go 10 laps without pitting. So if we go green the full easy, way through, easy. there will be Clear. one pit stop. Now it's Talladega. Okay, wild shit goes down to Talladega. Okay, Do you think there's gonna be green the whole way through? I doubt it, but we're gonna find out. Here we go. Steady. Run towards the front of the field. Clear low, stay low. Still a car out there. Outside, real tight. Right now we are in. 33rd position. Clear high. Can drive our way Clear to low, the front of this field. Clear up top. 
see what we can do here. Hold a steady wheel. Alright, you're down there. passing some more cars here. We worked our way up into 24th all position. Clear, all clear. Clear high and get up there. Clear and fourth, here we go. We're gonna take a four wide here, maybe, if we can get... No, we're gonna take a three wide, okay, I was about to say. If I can get by Bane, we're gonna go four wide here. That's gonna be nice coming out of the triangle. Really pushing Bane forward here a lot. Still there. That's gonna get some work done in the race here. Clear high. Alright, here we go. We're going to pull it behind Matt Kenseth now. We're going to bump him forward a little bit. Stay right there. There you go. He's going forward. Try to cut down in front of uh, Eric Jones there. That did not work. And we have a little bit of contact between the two of us. It's okay, though. Now we're going to pull that behind Kenseth. And back out. And now we're going down, we are in 13th position, 10 laps to go in the race, and we are nearly into the top 10. We're going to go to the outside of Stenhouse, we're going to get behind Johnson, give him a little bit of a push down the back, maybe we can get by Chase Elliott over here, which is not going to work for us. Inside, inside. Which just won't get it done. It's okay, here here. we go. Big run off the turn. This time we're going to go by Johnson. Easy, easy. Instead of pushing him. Inside, See if we have enough momentum, though. He is behind we're Truex. We did get by him. Now we're going to get up to Truex here behind him. Hold a steady wheel. And he's going to cut down there, okay. Oh, no, there was a big problem there. Whatever happened to the four car there really just killed the momentum, like, the whole line there. They give us a couple more spots now. Here we go, we're going to push Truex. Oh, he's going to slow down under the corner? Okay. I'm going to push you by him, one on the outside here, but we get a little bit of a run going here on the bottom. Can we get our Truex here? Maybe. Hamlin did up a little bit when Larson pulled down in front of him. Eight laps to go now in the race. That's it. Eight to go. Pushing Hamlin forward. He got a lot of momentum that time. A lot of momentum. Let's see if we can keep pushing him forward here. Gonna get by Kyle Bush. Work on him. Then we get Joe Dagano and Dale Jr. the next two to pass. We took Halen with us to the front basically. Try to bring different drivers, try to push him forward, but it just didn't work and Hamlin and I just got things going. Clear. You're getting work for us right here. I'm gonna keep Hamlin going to the lead. We pushed him for a while. Clear, clear. Honestly, it's working the two of us just going here, so why not? No need to try to pass him this early in the race. Steady. You know, we're going a little bit faster, the two of us working together, so... Might as well just try to stay right behind Hamlin. See if we can do it in first person here, too. The leader is this lap. Okay, well, never mind. Is everybody pitting? Ugh. Yeah, basically, except for Ryan Blaney and Casey Kane and Derek Cobb and Timmy Hill. Okay. 
we're out here on our own. All you need is fuel, honestly. This race doesn't require anything besides fuel. So, come in, fuel up, leave, you're good. That's the plan, anyways. Five to go. We've passed a lot of cars here that are now one lap down. We still have two laps of fuel to go. So one lap here. We're gonna pit this lap. We can't. Oh we're, we're not gonna risk that. You gotta come in for fuel. All right, we want fuel, no tires, no repairs. Let's get this in and out quickly. So when everything cycles through, we should either be first or second to Denny Hamlin. Or Denny Hamlin should be second to us, in theory. Look at the little bit of damage we got from bumping him, though. Oh, is that Harvick on pit road? That's from when he had that issue in the corner where he slowed way down. And that's how we got past him and Kurt Busch pretty easy. So we are in first place. How close is the next driver? Three, two, one. He's there. Outside, real tight. Truex and Hamlin are right here. There was really no advantage to staying out. out there. there really was none. So once we get up to speed here, in a couple of seconds, we should catch up to these guys' bumpers and work with them. Everything cycled out to be about the same as it was. We actually lost a position on that. We were still behind him. Still a car out there. But Truex uh, passed both him and him. So maybe he passed him on a pit road and passed me on the track. All clear, all clear. We're back going here. We've just been having things work for us, Hamlin and I. I don't know. It's surprising. I don't really like Denny Hamlin that much, but. If it works, it works. That's the view that I told you everybody loves that develops this game. Like their view to watch everything from. Don't see the hype behind it, but. Last time I switched to first person mode to fall behind Denny Hamlin, he went to the pits. The leader's going into the pits. Solid decision. I said it as a meme, and I'm like, yo, last time you did this, he went to the pits. He went to the pits, kid. There you go. Why? Tank full of fuel and you're good. You won the race. I've won. I have won this race unless some wild stuff goes down. I will have won this race. Why did he pit? Both of those drivers that were there, Denny Hamlin, Martin Truex Jr., both had an opportunity to win this race. And they pit for some odd reason. Because if you took full fuel, you have like seven laps you can make it. Not sure why they did that. Unless when they pit. Even then, though, I don't know. I'm confused. Final lap. This is it, last lap. The pitting's not gonna help them. Oh well. Oh, well. 
Yeah. Drew the gun up pit behind me too, and he was fourth when I came out of pit. Once I was back onto the track, he was right there. So I don't know. Very confusing, very odd, interesting, unique, weird. I'm not sure why. But it's okay, we're gonna go here. I'm gonna come out of turn number four, cross the line, and be the race winner. Turn number four, come out of the trial and be the race winner. What'd I say? There you go. Way to be, guys. That's a win.